You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Dippin' Dots Frozen Dot Maker. It's finally here, and if I sound excited more than normal, it's because we've had so many requests for this, and I can finally make Dippin' Dots. We brought a six-pack of flavoring in here. It's a vanilla, cotton candy, strawberry, banana split, cookies and cream, and chocolate. Let's get that out of the way so we can look at the box. Why? Because there's always happy kids on the box. Let's check out that side. It's very colorful. Now there's other type of makers you can get. This is just a single unit which we have. Look, see? Happy kids. That's exactly how I want to be. While I'm talking about happy kids, now remember when you approach a maker set like this, if you have expectations that it's going to be exactly like what you're used to eating, not just Dippin' Dots, any of the maker sets, don't have those expectations. It's not going to be exactly like that. It's still going to be good. It's still going to be fun, and it's still going to be time with the kids or time creating something and having that accomplishment from starting to finishing. Focus on all that, because that makes it even more fun. So let's get in the box here. Let's see. Tape. Tape. Okay. One more. Instructions. There you go. Let's just, uh, well, if you've seen our videos before, you know a lot of times you just dump it all out and it falls and it sounds like a big disaster, but it's really not. So let's see. Inner box here has all the component pieces. So here's our trays. There's four trays in there. There's cups and spoons in a bag. And then there's this... Uh, a dispenser unit here where you dispense it into and it fills up the uh, the trays and then the main mixer thing mixer thing the main mixer unit right that will dispense it into this cup and then into the tray so let me get the instructions out get a little more familiar with the unit wash it all and we'll come back and start making dipping dots all right hang on okay I'm all set everything is washed and dried let's go over the maker base and everything that's involved with that show you the trays we have four flavors I can get those out of the way I decided to do the cotton candy the cookies and cream the banana split and the chocolate now I'll have to explain that in a second now these trays let me show you something on the trays they have pins that need to match up to the holes in the tray so what I did was I kinda just held it up like that it's easy to find when you match it up then just snap them together so now this tray is ready to go so I did that to all the trays they're ready this here is the dispenser bowl this has got a fill line so you have to fill to this line so you know you're filling your dipping dots to the right spot to fill up the tray so that's gonna actually just stay there this blue lever here that goes in and out that's what lets you control it so you can open it and close that that's closed that's open so let's put that in there this up here, this locks in. This is the dispenser now. Okay, there's little pins on here that fit in the top of the base here. Can you see in there? So when you put that in, you have to turn to the right. If you turn to the left, you're going to have a problem. And all of your stuff's going to spill out. So you have to be careful there. So you put it in, and you turn to the right. There you go. And that's what the unit facing you, by the way. Now also... This is in the closed position. When it's down here, it's in the open position. It'll let everything out. So you want to make sure that's in the closed position. So we need to get that out anyway. The cups and the spoons are all ready. So let me do this. Let me pull this down here. And one other thing I can tell you is that this is two ounces. So one flavor packet and eight ounces of milk is going to give you four trays. So I'm going to have to store some on the side so I can show you four flavors. So what you want to do first now that we're all clean, let's cut open a pack. Let's do the banana split. Something different. Okay, now that that's ready, gonna put that in. Ooh, it smells good. And I'm gonna put the milk in. Alright. Now you put your top piece back on. Now here is where you have to shake and make sure that it is closed. Now you can kind of see the coloring in there is not ready so you're just going to keep mixing it. Let's 
get a little better. They don't really give you a time limit on that. Just when you feel comfortable. Now you probably could space it out, put a little liquid in there, a little powder, and then mix it even more. All right, so there we go. Let's say that's ready. So let's put it in. Remember, turn one way, turn the other way, you're going to have a huge mess on your hands. Now let's get ready to dispense. Hold on. All right, I'm all set to dispense. I shook it a little bit more. What happened here now was reading the directions, because I just want to make sure we're clear here for everybody. Here's the directions from the unit. It says, fill dispenser with 8 ounces of water and then the flavor of your choice. Okay, then shake it up. So the directions that came with the extra mixes, now this one's different. This one says, uh, put the flavoring in first and then your choice of 8 ounces of low-fat whole milk or lactose-free milk. So they're different depending on the mixes you have. Or you could just use water on these. I'm not sure. But we're using milk like it said. So I'm all set here. I'm holding up here. I'm going to push this down and go to the two ounce mark. Okay. Then stop. So I'm right at two ounces. You want to be very precise there. Now I'm going to turn this a little bit here. I'm going to hold this here and I'm going to push in. So let's just see. It's kind of filling up the voids now. So there you go. That was the first two ounces. Now it looks like we can go a little bit more. So you want to, you know, adjust and move as you go here. So what I'm going to do here is get this camera set, pull this back out. I'm going to go just a little bit. Not a lot. Okay. And push it back in. And then let it fill the rest. There, much better. Just a few in the back. So I think we're good to go. So what I'm going to do now is go from flavor to flavor to flavor to show you the each filling on each one. And then I'm going to go freeze them all and come back. So hold on a second for the next flavor. All right, I'm all set. I've got the cookies and cream on there now. That's the one I did next. Now you're going to get little drips here and there. Just make sure that this is out before you start. So dispense to the line. Okay, and then push in. And you can see it as it starts filling all the little chambers in there. Now there might be a few left here. So this one's set. So now let me get to the next flavor. Okay, all back with the next flavor. This is the cotton candy flavor. But one thing I do want to point out is always make sure this is in the out position. This is set. Now it's going to leak. It does a little bit here and there once in a while, especially after you wash things. And I also wanted to mention that on the first flavor, I didn't hit the line correctly, I think. I'm only speculating that I was too low, and that's why I had to little, add a little extra. I was at the wrong angle. So here we go. Mistakes happen, everybody. You just learn to live with them. And don't let them affect you. And you'll still have fun, right? Okay, so now I'm going to the line. There you go. Now remember, this gets pushed in. And then watch it fill all the little nooks and crannies. That's a pretty neat little process, if you ask me. Now they all have little air holes in the top, too, so it's letting out the air as they're filling up the little chambers. Okay, so if you don't get a full fill, you can add a little bit more if you want to. Kind of just missing a back row here. But I'm just going to leave it, move on to the next flavor. All right, hold on. Okay, so the chocolate is on there. This is the last one. Just fill to that line. Well, that could be too. I maybe had a little angle. So there you go. I'm going to push this in. And now, as you can see, it's filling up the little chambers here, starts to fill. So the last thing here now is for me to freeze all four different flavors and see what we end up with, huh? And eat some Dippin' Dots. So thanks for waiting through this whole thing. Next you're going to see me eating it. Hold on. 
All right, I'm all set. Everything's out of the freezer. It's been a few hours. So again, we have the banana split. We have the cookies and cream. This is the cotton candy. And this is the chocolate. Now you're supposed to run it under water for five to 10 seconds. So what I just did is I brought a bowl in here with some warm water. We're just gonna give it a quick, kind of like a five second move around. Okay, under warm water. And you take it out. I'm gonna wipe it off. And I want you to peel it open. This way, this tail. Here we go. So that came out pretty good, huh? Let's dip that in there. Now you bend it and they pop out. Look at that. So here's the first one. Let me just eat some while I get ready to do the rest. Actually, that's the banana split. I like that. So let me transfer it to this smaller bowl here. Now you could probably spend more time breaking them apart. Okay, so let me get to the next flavor. There was a little water in that, so I'll be a little more gentle next time. Ooh, two on the table. Better eat those. Okay, the blue one was the cookies and cream. So I'll tell you what, let me just pretend like it's rinsing. A little less water this time. Let's pull this one apart. That one came out better. Okay, a little water in there, so I think I'm just going to go without the water. I think it'll be fine. That came out good. Ooh, let me just take a piece like this, see, and eat it. That's the cookies and cream. Move that to a bowl. Now that one has a lighter flavor than the um, the first one. Okay. So I'd say so far, not bad. Let me get these off the table. There's one way to get them off the table. Who has to eat them? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the water away. Wipe out my bowl. Clean up a little there. And then let's get the cotton candy. Excited about this one because it's gonna be blue. Ooh, is that pretty, huh? Come on. So that came out nice, even without the water. Ooh, I'm excited to eat this one right now. So I'm gonna do that. Take a look, I'll show you a close up. Okay, so I'm gonna say, much lighter compared to like a regular dip and dot flavor but it's not like I'm not gonna eat it you know what I mean okay now the last one oh come on scraps on the table was the chocolate so here's the chocolate pull that one apart nice we get my bowl in here got a little blue still around it So if I were to do it again, I probably would not use the water for some reason. I don't know. Why take that chance? All right. All right. So what I like to do now, clean up a little bit. And we'll take a closer look at all of them. Hold on. All right. Now take a look at that. You've got the banana split the cookies and cream, the cotton candy, and then the bottom one is the chocolate. So I'm gonna take another taste of each one now that I can focus on a little bit more. So now I'm gonna eat the banana split. They're soft, they're creamy. Hmm. Actually, when you put more than a few in your mouth, cookies and cream, I like it. And I know people are going to say, well, you always say you like it. Well, I do. For what it is, I do. Cotton candy. 
Out of the three so far, this is the weakest flavor. So now just straight chocolate. That's actually good. Now I'm mixing it around. Let me just do this. I'm gonna do three flavors at one time. And let's get that on there. So look at that. That's like chocolate, banana split, and cookies and cream. Does that look scrumptious? Let me give you a real nice close up. Oop. Sorry about that. Give you a real nice close up there. So what would you do? I would say, I like them. I think it's a success. It's fun. You can use your own uh, juices or drinks, so you can experiment with that. It worked great. Didn't take too long. You know, just the freezer time. So overall, I'm happy with it. So there you go. We just did it. It's the Dippin' Dots set. We do appreciate you watching, and now I'm going to go finish eating these, all right? Later. The video you are watching is now over. If you want to see more Maker Sets in action, then check the description, search the channel, or just click here. Thanks for watching our product video. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.